Hello and welcome to video number eight. We're gonna talk about organizing your content. So in the previous video, we talked about how to go about creating those pieces of content really, really fast as you saw. Now I'm gonna show you how to organize the content into what we call collections by using Get Stencil. Okay, so what I like about Get Stencil is it allows you to organize all of your content that you've created into what we call collections. And you can think of that as sort of like a folder. So what you need to do is simply go to the Saved Images section. And up at the top here, you want to click this link here, click on Collections. And then, of course, Create Collection. So you can create a collection, you can name it click create collection and that's it. So you will notice that I have about 192 images that are specific to women and about one to men. Now, in order to add an image to the collection, all you have to do is highlight the image. So for example, this image is not part of a collection. So all we have to do is simply click this here and then click collection and then add that to that collection. So in this case, we'll select this and it adds it straight away to this section. So now that you understand how to organize the content, we're gonna talk about auto scheduling in the next video. But before we do that, I wanna show you how to sort of manually post to social media sites inside of get stencil so what you can do is you can go to your account here you can go to settings and then you can connect your account to facebook and other social media sites that are within get stencil once you have done that you can simply select the image that you want to post let's say this one here we can click share and as you can see, you can post it manually to Facebook, to Twitter, to Pinterest, to all these other social media sites. But in order to do that, you have to connect to your accounts. So connect to Twitter, connect to all these other social media sites. So all you need to do is simply find the social media site that you want, find the image, click share, and it'll automatically post that to that particular social media site and that's it so now that you know how to do things manually and you know how to organize things let's talk about auto scheduling in the next video